Thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hey folks, Dan Ryan here uh, for this uh, installment of uh, Leo and Dan Ryan uh, Review Inexpensive Guitars. I am told that this is a uh, Mono Price Indio uh, Strat copy uh, kit. It's got the little amp and uh, some other accoutrement with it. Uh, and we shall see. I don't know how much they are today, but when I bought this, it was eighty-seven ninety-nine. <laughs> okay. And you know, Mono Price guitars. Not bad. Right. Yeah, well, this will be the third one of the same guitar. That we've yes, it will. Because I'm pretty forgetful about <laughs> what we've done. We've done so many guitars. I keep telling you to make a list. <laughs> well, then I'd have to read the list. Nobody yeah. wants to do that. You, yeah. you forgot one piece of tape. The one in the, no, the one in the middle there. Did you get the ends? Yes. Okay. Don't think so. Nope, you didn't get the ends. Are we having fun yet, folks? <laughs> well, the only advantage I have over Dan is I took two vitamin D3. Today because no I didn't I didn't remember to forget to take the vitamin D3 no because uh, there's there's a box inside another box right so I got the end of the inside box but I didn't get the end of the outside box ah okay I didn't even see that it was there okay now I'll probably just fall over on me. Ah, and it was in a coffin, but the lid came off with the lid for the box. Okay. All right, we've got the uh, gig raincoat. If you're ever in a thunderstorm, uh, you can just do this. <laughs> uh, it won't protect your guitar at all, so you might as well. Well, um, it... Uh, you know, it's unfortunate because Monoprice usually comes with very nice cases for their guitars when they don't give you all this other, um, no. what, what would we call it? Oh, uh, crap. So. <laughs> okay. I thought our agreed upon term was case candy. Uh, well, yeah, when, when it's, yeah, okay. And, uh. It looks like an extra set of strings, so cord. I'm just going to pile all this over here. For a and the funny thing, that 10 watt amp looks exactly the same size as the 20 watt amp that came with the Leo James guitar. There is a little corner, yeah, at, at the bottom where the feet are. You have to kind of grab it where the handle is at the top and one, and one of those areas. Yeah. There you go, stuff. like that. Just dump it out. Probably be best well, after you get the guitar out. I was going to mention that. Okay. Uh, first of all, I didn't do this. It came out of the box. <laughs> I don't want to hear any crap. <laughs> no problem. Note to self, flamed in anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
that one so damaged Dan I don't really care if you just draw and quarter it. <laughs> there will be things for the pieces to get stuck on as well. So. <laughs> I have one I have saved you know how, what, you know, over there that's undamaged that we're going to use. You know how that. when you get a new roll of toilet paper and there's too much glue on it? Oh, yeah. And so you start trying to very carefully tear it off so it'll unroll. And you just keep going further and further. You know, so it's like you got this much toilet paper where you have half hanging off this side and half hanging. That's what we got right here, folks. Yeah, kind of like a receipt from Best Buy. Yeah. Three feet long and folded in half. Yeah. Something fell on the ground, but I don't know what it was. No. Couldn't have been that important. I can't see it. It was probably the whammy bar. But oh. now I can see it in the in the bag of crace candy. <laughs> Explain why I couldn't get out. Yep. That might explain why it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. But that's you might, okay. You might want to edit out that part of the video. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So uh, we're not going to use this, but I will show it to you. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we are actually making a video. Patrick and I, of all of these amps with their guitars, and this one is the final one, and I'll be releasing that video at some point. Okay, so it's got uh, gain, tone, volume, headphone, uh, distortion. Well, that's that's the gain, but uh, doesn't have any reverb that I can see it. It has, here's the on-off switch for the amp. Here's the on-off switch for something else. But I don't know. That's the distortion button. Okay. So, uh, there you have it. Um, Does it say how many watts it is on the back? Ten watts. Right. Because the other one looked exactly the same, but it was 20 watts. It was blue, but it was same size. Yeah, uh, looks like it's got a six-inch speaker. Um, kind of hard to tell. The other one was actually really, really loud. Um, not good loud, but loud. So, yeah, well. I mean. Yeah, we have some friends like that, I believe, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, All right. You remember, uh, what's her name? Uh, was her name Bonnie Cresdorn? Oh, yes. That was a perfect example of loud, but not good loud. Yes. You, you may want to edit out that last name. <laughs> Why? Oh, I don't know. Just in case your family comes after you. <laughs> okay. Let them come. <laughs> just when they do it, uh, I just request that they do it quietly. Yeah. In the dead of night, in my sleep. Um, okay, so it's a black and white strap copy. It's got the little comfort curve there, white pick guard. Uh, looks like it's three ply. Uh, five position switch. No push pull pot that I can see. Finish on the front looks fine. It's very, it's very uh, uh, smooth and uh, uh, looks like it's got a transparent 
over over the black color. It's very shiny. Got the comfort curve here. Back weight, bolt on neck. How's the weight? Um, I'd say it's about average for for a strap. Uh, a lovely uh, maple neck and a beautifully uh, satin finish. This uh, this. You know, there are people that would buy this guitar. How much does this guitar cost? The entire kit was eighty seven ninety nine. So. Okay, so eighty seven ninety nine. There are people that would pay eighty seven ninety nine just to get this neck and bolt it on something else. Probably change out the out the uh, tuners, but uh, the neck itself, you know, it just feels really nice. Um, How are the frets? How fret edges? They're good. They're not the rounded uh, frets, but they're uh, they're finished pretty well, and they're done pretty well. I don't know why this happens, but it just always does. Uh, towards the top, you know, you do get some sharp edges. And, uh, well, I can tell you why, because they do the fret dressing when the neck's already on the guitar, and that part of the neck is close to the guitar body and they don't want to scratch it up yeah. and that's pretty much what my opinion is and that's you know a guy that has built a couple of guitars not a lot but uh if i was doing it myself it may end up the same exact way for that reason uh well that's probably why you dress the frets before you attach the neck to the body more than likely uh -huh. um and uh, so eighty-seven dollars for uh, for I mean we haven't played the guitar yet, haven't tuned it up yet, so I don't you know don't have any opinion about that. But just uh, construction-wise, so far it looks pretty nice. Um, How's the nut cut? Looks you know. Um, Pretty sure there's a plastic nut. I don't think it's a bone nut. No. Uh, it, you know, everything looks pretty straight. And you know, they do have these string guides here to keep it straight from one end to the other. Uh, there is a hole for a whammy bar, which I'm assuming is in this package here. Yep, it's there. So there it is. What um, else is in that package, those packages there? Well, this has got picks, string, uh, picks, whammy bar, uh, a cord, and uh, two Allen wrenches, set of strings, a uh, pretty chintzy guitar strap to go with the really chintzy uh, gig bag. <laughs> uh, I guarantee you drop this on a sharp rock with a guitar in it, there's going to be a ding on your guitar. <laughs> uh, uh, the fingerboard looks something like what Rose would, but I, I have no idea what it really is. Um, I have no idea either. It does have, uh, the dots are actually inlaid, and the inlay is pretty flat, and uh, you know it's not pushing up out of the neck. Uh, no skunk stripe, obviously. So uh, you do have the truss adjustment here, um, but I guess if you want to remove the truss rod, you're just going to have to take the whole neck off. We have to take the fretboard off on that particular type of guitar uh, neck. Well, we have to peel it off. Just go to buy. Use. Just go buy a new neck. <laughs> Maybe one that has a skunk stripe so you can, if you need to remove the truss rod the next time you can. Well, either either way, it's difficult. But, yeah. um, but at $87, I would just buy another guitar. Yeah. Uh, no name tuners. We'll see how they work. Uh, you know, not a, not a whole lot to say about it. Uh, Except we've done it twice already. 
Yeah, well. <laughs> and if either one of us could remember what the other two sounded like, we could make some uh, lucid observations about it, but I don't. Well, the other two were the other two. So I'm like, uh, I'm going to let this stand on its own legs. Yeah. <laughs> or not. Right. Uh, uh, one thing I can say is I don't think we played one of these that wouldn't tune up and wouldn't play and, you know, wasn't a playable instrument. Uh, not particle board. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not uh, some kind of uh, rosewood uh, replicant. Uh, so, uh, even though it's monoprice, uh, you know, it's obvious that, they, they, you know, monoprice doesn't, and monoprice, uh, I have bought stuff from monoprice. They make uh, really good stuff. I had a pair of studio monitors. I think I mentioned this on a prior video. Uh, from Monoprice that I paid. Uh, Probably on two prior videos with, uh, with the exact same guitar in your hand. <laughs> anyway, they make good chords. This is not one of them. Uh, uh, but, uh, and they're uh, very reasonably priced. But you've got to, it's like, if you want to buy chords from Monoprice that are good, you need to be ready to buy like five of them. <laughs> you know, they, they bundle them up and... Uh, and the, and the quality is generally pretty good. Uh, the price is, uh, I know, like for those five chords, you'd probably pay oh, uh, somewhere between 40 and 50% of what you pay for the same chord one at a time. Um, so uh, they do make good stuff. Um, I was a little surprised to see that they'd gotten into the guitar business. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, that's their business. Anyway, so uh, there you have it. The Monoprice India, Indio uh, Strat copy, again, for the third time in black and white. And uh, this, this may be the only design they actually sell. No, they sell it not. Okay. Um, so... Uh, you know, we at least could have gotten different colors, but... Uh, no, uh, it was only that color that was eighty seven ninety nine. <laughs> okay. Uh, see, what I told you about modern price, they, you know, they kind of guide you in the direction they want you to go. Mm -hmm. And it's not a bad direction, but it is a limited direction. Well, um, Eric Clapton would agree uh, with the color choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that. Let's let's call him up and show him this. <laughs> Eric, you want one of these? No, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, uh, I'm referring to the fact that that's the color of the, of, it, uh, of his uh, favorite guitar. Unless you're delivering like a thousand <laughs> of them to uh, some underprivileged country, no, I don't want any. Uh, so, uh, okay. There you have it, and uh, we are now going to pause, tune it up, and go through the pickups, and uh, you know do our our regular stuff that we do when uh, looking at a new guitar or a different guitar. Well, this one is uh, new but not different. But we'll be back in a minute. Thanks, hey folks. We're back again with this uh, Monoprice Indio uh, Strat copy in black and white. And uh, we've tuned it up, and uh, we're going to take a look at the different pickup settings. Uh, let's go get this a little louder. Um, so uh, this is the next pickup. Uh,
supposed to be the darkest pickup in the set, and uh, that's still pretty pretty bright. And here is the neck and middle. <laughs> Considerably brighter than a than a real strat would be, but uh, you know there is a differentiation when you change the change the positions. So the, that's good. And here is the neck and bridge. I'm sorry, middle and bridge. And uh, Gunter, I haven't forgotten about you. We'll do that in just a moment. Okay, so uh, where were we? <laughs> typically where you'd want that kind of fender quack and uh, and uh, you're getting something like it so that's not so bad and here is the bridge pickup by itself <laughs> two tones, just in case you were wondering. And uh, Gunter, this is for you. This is the board c &E on this uh, Monoprice Indio. Hmm. Let's say a five or a six. Hunter occasionally uh, disagrees with me, but uh, generally I think we're on the same page. So there you have it. We're going to stop one more time, make sure we're st still in tune, and come back and play something for you. Be right back. Thanks. Hey, folks. Uh, we're back with this uh, Monoprice Indio Strat copy. We've uh, unboxed it and looked at the uh, appearance. Uh, uh, Check the pickups, done the board and e and now we're going to play something for you. And what we're going to play is the uh, Deep Desire Ballad backing track in F from our friends at Elevated Jam Tracks. And so let's see how elevated we can get.
plays pretty well. Plays very nice all the way up the, the neck, stayed in tune all the way up the neck. Uh, it's, uh, let's see, 21 frets. Um, for $87.99. Yep. Uh, <laughs> With an amp and a gig raincoat and a bunch of other yeah, yeah. Uh, cr uh, candy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> crud. Uh, uh, crustaceans. Right. <laughs> uh, and by the way, it's the Indio Cali Classic. Yes. So, uh, I mean, we've done it a couple of times, so, yeah. uh, but it, it, you've failed to mention it in this video, so. Just wanted to interject it at least once. Okay. Uh, yes, it does say the uh, Indio. It says classic, but uh, okay. It's it's classic. It's classic for for eighty eight dollars. It's truly a classic. Cause it must be classic because we've done it three times. Right. Um, anyway, there you have it. The Indio Cali Classic. Um, uh, Hard to go wrong, like I said. I mean, the the neck by itself. Uh, uh, a lot of parts people would uh, would love to have a neck this this uh, smooth and uh, with a pretty good fret job to begin with, and uh, absolutely played in tune all the way up to the top. So uh, uh, that was an enjoyable track to play to. By the way, I did enjoy that. Um, I enjoyed listening. Well, that, that one lives in hope. Uh, so there you have it. I'm Dan Ryan. Leo Ryan is behind the camera, as usual. And uh, we hope that you will like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to be notified of our future videos. And uh, that's it for today, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.